A body was found yesterday in Wyoming, and FBI investigators, law enforcement, everybody is saying the body matches the consistencies of missing cross-country vlogger Gabby Petito. Now, this is an active and open and ongoing investigation, so I want to give everybody updates as I get updates. Because this guy, Brian, her fiancé, is still a person of interest. And his whereabouts are still unknown as of right now, Monday, 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, we're going to go ahead and read Fox News' article. They do have live footage, so we're going to go there and check that out. Gabby Petito police declare crime scene as FBI enters Brian Laundrie's Florida home. Y'all, I'm reporting to, to you guys as I'm reading these live updates. The FBI announced a search warrant twice before removing Chris and Roberta Laundrie from their home in Northport, Florida on Monday. The FBI Denver office on Sunday confirmed that authorities located what they believe is the body of Gabby Petito, the Florida girl who vanished while on a cross-country trip with her boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. I don't think this video has any sound. Now, this is right now as it's happening. I don't know what's going on. I do see a wrecker there. Is that his car? I can't zoom in or anything. But, is that his car on the wrecker? This is giving me chills, y'all. Chills. I mean, I'm literally like, I'm sure everybody out there just on the edge of your seat. Because there is somebody out there that done something to her, allegedly. I think there is. And those people need to need to be brought to justice y'all her poor family i can't imagine i don't know what's happening here seeing two people walk out in red shirts it's obviously raining there, or about to rain, or been raining, or something. I see all the umbrellas and stuff, and it looks cloudy. Okay, if you're new to this story, which I don't know how you have been, but I guess you've been living under a rock if you're new to this story. Let me go ahead and let's back out of this. Let's, we'll jump back into the live footage later. But let me go ahead and get y'all up to speed to how we got to where we are today. Now, just earlier, police dropped off cardboard boxes at the laundry home. It said uh, Northport Police just dropped off what appears to be collapsed cardboard boxes at the front porch of the laundry home. So, I don't know if they were giving them boxes, telling them to, you know, put his stuff in there. If they're going to put stuff in there, I don't know what that is from. Northport Police seen dropping off snacks, coolers for FBI agents who have been searching Laundry's home for hours. There we go. I guess that answers my question, huh? This is the disappearance, the timeline. Okay, that was, let's see if we can get to, that was this morning, that was, okay, so this morning at 9.55 a.m., FBI arrives at Laundry's home in Northport, Florida. 
The FBI announced a search warrant twice before removing Chris and Roberta Laundry from their home in Northport, Florida and placing them in a van on their lawn. Police cordoned off the area and cleared the street one minute before FBI arrived telling people you're in a crime scene. So the home is a crime scene. FBI brings items into Laundry's home. The FBI stayed in Laundry's home for roughly 10 minutes before agents started bringing folding chairs, a table, and other items into the home. And then I guess that's when the live video footage started. FBI says it is carrying out court-authorized search warrant at Brian Laundry's home. The FBI in a tweet says it's Executing a court-authorized search warrant today at the Laundry Residence in Northport, Florida, relevant to the Gabby Petito investigation. No further details can be provided since this is an active, ongoing investigation. That was at 10.22 a.m. Then, two minutes later, Chris Laundry being let out of the property Brian Laundry, their son, is a person of interest in the Gabby Petito investigation. On Sunday, the uh, authorities found a body in Wyoming that is believed to be Gabby. Like I said, y'all, this is happening right now. Monday, as I am recording this video, Laundry's lawyer says no comment on the situation involving parents, Stephen. The attorney for Gabby Patino's fiance, Brian Laundrie, tells Fox News Stephanie Monday that he has no comment regarding the current situation unfolding at the Laundrie home in Northport, Florida. FBI agents in the last hour rolled up to the scene before removing Chris and Roberta, his parents, from the property, placing them in an unmarked van. Brian, their son, is a person of interest in the Gabby Petito investigation. His current whereabouts remain unknown. Now, an update as of 11:17 earlier today on the body found at Wyoming's Grand Teton National Park. The Teton County Coroner's Office tells Fox News' Jeremy Copas that the autopsy on the body found Sunday that is believed to be Gabby Petito will be conducted tomorrow. The office is bringing in a forensic pathologist from Sheridan, Wyoming, about 360 miles east. Once the autopsy begins, it should take one to two hours, but microscopic ins inspection can push this for several hours. Looks like at 1123 this morning, Brian Laundrie's parents were able to re-enter their home. Chris and Roberta Laundrie were removed earlier from their home in Northport by FBI agents and now back inside their property, the couple previously replaced in an unmar unmarked van outside of the home for at least an hour. Dan Reiner, a professional investigator in South Florida, tells Fox News that the FBI may have put the couple in a van alone together because there is no expectation of privacy in law enforcement officer vehicle. So if they are talking to each other, it is either being listened to or being recorded, he added. Now, y'all... More details on the 911 call about Petito and Laundry's altercation in Moab, the reason they got pulled over, the reason for the body cam footage in the first place. The 911 caller who reported a domestic dispute between Brian and Gabby in Moab, Utah on August the 12th was heard telling a dispatcher that the gentleman was slapping the girl and hitting her. Fox News has confirmed Monday after exclusively obtaining the audio of the call. He was slapping her, the dispatcher was heard asking. Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her, hopped in the car, and they drove off, the caller added. Now we are back. It looks like a van is backing up. At the laundry residence, I don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I see it has started raining there. This is an active investigation, as I've said earlier, as I've read earlier. So, I mean, we're going to get live updates 
developments, everything as they come in. And I'm going to keep you guys all up to date, so be sure you subscribe. But, yeah, like I said, we will get the updates, and then I'll report back to y'all. Now, if you remember, Brian said in the police cam, the body cam footage, that he was a painter. He painted. Now, on his social media, he's got posts of different artwork and things like that. And, y'all, to me, I'm just saying, to me... A Christian woman, these just look very satanic and devilish. Now, art is art. You are entitled to express yourself any way you choose. But this right here looks really satanic to me. So, I don't know if he was involved or is involved in any of that. I also noticed on the police cam, the body cam footage, when he got into the police Tahoe, he asked the officer something about um, listening to Rob Zombie or something. So, I guess they had Rob Zombie playing or something like that. Y'all, that says a lot to me. I don't know what it speaks to you, but it speaks volumes to me. Brian is allegedly still missing. His whereabouts are still unknown. I personally don't think he is quote-unquote missing. I think he is hiding. I think his parents know exactly where he is in my opinion i think they really started feeling the pressure and the heat whenever all the people started showing up all the protesters the neighbors the media y'all everybody started showing up at their house i feel like they felt the pressure they felt the heat they give them some money they said look you got to go get up out of here we can't be having all this in our neighborhood and like i said all this is just what i believe went down or is going down whatever you want to however you want to put it i believe his parents give him some money and said get out of town i don't believe he is in florida anymore absolutely not i believe he knows that he is the person of interest and he knows he knows more than he's telling the parents know more than they're telling and i don't know why they're not telling anything I honestly have a bad feeling. I believe he's out of the country. I believe he is in Mexico, Cuba, uh, Bahamas, Jamaica. I believe he is somewhere unreachable. And I believe his parents helped him get there. That's just what I believe. And like I've said, this is an ongoing open investigation. So there will be so much more come out as the days unfold. And I will be here to keep you all up to date. So be sure you are subscribed. Y'all, I am praying for Gabby's family, Gabby's friends, everybody that was involved in all this. Praying so hard for y'all. So hard. I know this has to be the worst time of their life right now. And I just, I feel for them. Say a prayer for Gabby's family and say a prayer that God speaks to Brian and his parents' hearts and persuades them to do the right thing. This family deserves peace and justice.